Guys, welcome back for another video. So today we are going to be doing another video on the mysterious man. So today I now have some more information about the mysterious man and even uh, had a close encounter with one. But they, sp they spawn so fast basically. They only stay for about a minute so you have to be very very quick. And you have to very much, pretty much stare at your screen. It has like a 1% spawn every second and today we're going to be talking about uh, the all the information about all the relics okay i'll be sharing with you guys information about all the relics that you can possibly get okay so we have um okay okay so today we have a video on all of it all of the artifacts the shadow tier artifacts or relics or implants, shadow tier implants on the game. So before we go into this video, uh, let's go and um, roll that intro, guys. So yeah. Okay. So the intro is done. The intro is very fast to be done. Okay. So now that the intro is done, uh, we're just going to be. I'm going to be sharing with you guys the shadow relic implants or the shadow tier implants, and what they do. Okay. So listen closely because I'm not gonna edit this video too much. I'm gonna be posting all the information down in the comment section below, but I'm not gonna be putting in text in the screen, okay? So if you wanna see all the information really quickly, um, uh, if you wanna see the summary on all the information, just go to the comment section. But if you want to have an in-depth on what they do, uh, listen closely to what I'm going to be saying, okay? So, um, basically, shadow implants, unlike regular implants, have zero drawbacks unless, except the, uh, except the lungs. It has a pretty bad uh, drawback. It has a pretty, pretty, pretty bad drawback. Um, the first one is the artificial lungs. It doubles, it doubles stamina regeneration. So basically, um, artificial lungs are very, very, very overpowered for Kure users because, like me, when I use Kure, um, the stamina drain, as you guys can see. Um, gets murdered. Basically, you can't um, you can't uh, use a uh, removal for long with uh, the stamina because it will get you uh, you will lose stamina very fast. But with the artificial lungs, what it does is it basically doubles your stamina regeneration and it makes it so that um, you will have more stamina regeneration and it works very well with styles such as removal. Yeah, it works very well. So artificial lungs, it doubles stamina regeneration, but at the cost of something pretty, pretty stupid, uh, pretty, pretty stupid. Which is why I think artificial lungs are not too good because artificial lungs, while it doubles the stamina regeneration, it will greatly increase your uh, calorie consumption. Okay, it will greatly increase your calorie consumption. So basically, um, the, you will regen, regen stamina fast, but you will decrease calorie consumption fast. And as you guys know, when your calories reach zero, you will not be able to gain stamina. So I think it's pretty bad. It's definitely one of the worst uh, implants out there. So yeah, um, yeah, the artificial lungs. Okay, I think they should remove that because artificial lungs. It said that these implants have zero drawback, so I think they should remove that. So yeah, that's the first one, artificial lungs, and the next one is artificial heart. Basically, artificial heart gets you um f gives you five time gives you five times faster, gives you five times faster out of health combat regeneration. So this is probably one of the most OP uh, shadow implants out there, and I hope they don't nerf it because basically, in a fight, uh, when you're when you run around for long enough, you will heal, and if you have this uh, artificial heart. It will heal you super super fast and it's very overpowered. I think this is very useful for bosses such as Shadow Yujiro. And yeah, basically useful for just about anything. And next one, uh, Unchained Mind. Okay. So Unchained Mind, basically it gives you Shokiken damage. Increases the Shokiken damage. This, it increases this, is da this damage by 1.5 times and it makes the startup faster. So basically, you can launch it, you can launch it faster. And it will do 1.5 times damage, which is not that bad. It's decent in my opinion. It's not too good, but it's decent. And it's practically useless still in my opinion because Shoki Ken has 160 cooldown. But yeah. And next is Hardened Fist. So this, in my opinion, is one of the greater ones. So probably top 3. And it double basis combat damage. So basically, um, the punches you do will be doubled. So if you stack that up with nano machines, if you stack... If you stack hardened fist with nano machines and removal, you can spam that. 
you can basically one shot a lot of people or you can imagine hardened fist hardened uh, fists with advanced and dano machines you will definitely almost one shot or three shot most people which is very overpowered in my opinion and this in my opinion is the best one hardened skin so what does hardened skin do basically it gives you um it gives you hardened skin basically gives you 40% damage reduction so this is the top one this is just the, the best okay in my opinion this is just the best because um basically this will make you super hard to kill if you stack that up with nano machines it will make you super hard to kill okay but probably you don't need nano machines when you have this and not being able to dash is a big disadvantage so uh, yeah nano uh, hardened skin gives you 40% damage reduction this is different from durability so um if you have low durability uh, it doesn't stack with your durability basically but basically if you're like low uh that if you're low durability your the damage that you get will be reduced to 40 percent okay so it doesn't matter what durability you get you are the damage you get will be reduced to 40 percent and um compressed joints basically compressed joints double your dash range okay it doubles all your dash range so imagine if you're like uh you have advance and you use that you will have two times faster dash, ra dash range or like mikazuchi which is very overpowered next is poisoned hand um poisoned hand including all m1s and kills deal slight poison damage basically poison hand will increase your m1 damage and if you hit with that you will uh, deal poison damage very slightly but in my opinion it's good enough so yeah that's it guys for this video i'm gonna be making another video on the easiest way to get um shadow relics you can get all of them okay I'm very excited for this because the developers did not make it so that you can only get one. They made it so that you can get all of them. Which in my opinion is very cool because that means there's so much things to do and now. And there's so much things to do now. Yeah. And I hope they also add more Shadow Relics because it's really, really amazing. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to know more, if you want to have the summarized version, just go check the comment section down below. And if you don't, then well, yeah, um, it's right here. I said all of it right here, all of you need to know in this video. Thank you guys for watching, and yeah, peace out, guys. And see you guys in the next video. Please do like and subscribe. Get me to uh, 1,000 subscribers, and when I get monetized, I will start doing uh, giveaways. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys in the next video.